Greetings one, greetings all. Thank you for joining me again today. A ghost story from the North Wales Hospital. Hmm, I think it's time we had one. I was talking to a new friend uh, today and the friend asked me whatever became of the Ouija board. Why did my shenanigans with the Ouija board stop? And how did I get rid of it? Um, I didn't really like to think back, uh, but there again, I thought, well, we'll tell the tale and see what you, the people, the people of Denby, the people who are interested in the North Wales Hospital, the people who are interested in ghost stories, what you think. And I certainly would appreciate any feedback, any comments that you would care to give. A Ouija board is its not an ancient tool. Uh, I believe it was invented towards the end of the 1800s. Um, but it has always acted as a portal almost to the other side. Um, an easy doorway through the veil. Quite easy to create your own Ouija board. Um, in some areas people will just draw out the markings on the floor. Uh, whereas others would place it on a piece of wood with felt pen or with paint or whatever. Um, the one we had was self-made uh, with black ink A to Z, 1 to 9, a 0, yes, no. Uh, and we created our own planchette, I think it's called. I think it's a French term um, because I believe the Ouija was, was born or created in uh, the south of the United States in the French speaking areas, Louisiana, somewhere around there. So it's called a planchette, a little thing that puts on it and it slides. Okay, a simple tale, really, but one that convinced me uh, that it was time to dispose <laughs> of the Ouija board and also uh, any shenanigans into trying to contact the other side. Myself and uh, a friend, uh, the friend lived uh, on Bryn Stanley in Denby, which is at the top of Denby, uh, and we were quite friendly. We were actually both Catholics, uh, so we actually do believe in this, or we certainly did believe in this sort of stuff, you know, stuff such as God, uh, the devil, good, evil, spirits, that when you die, that it is not the end, it's possibly just the beginning. So that. You know, that's a bit of background there. Myself and this friend, we picked up... Uh, what I would say is a, uh, a moment in time, I think. Because it was, a, it, was a, it was a moment for us both. He went away after this incident. And to be honest, I've never seen him since apart from once when I saw him on Boxing Day uh, about four years ago up at the hunt and we never I never certainly you know we never mentioned this episode to the episode to the story itself myself and John uh, we gathered up the Ouija board and we went back to my room in the nurse's home because I'm talking about when I was a student nurse. And we set it up and there was always a lot of um, <clears throat> noise and a lot of distractions. Uh, you really wanted the quietness uh, to get the full effect of what we were trying to do. We were, to all intents and purposes, we were having a laugh. We'd, we'd had a couple of, or oh, I certainly had had a couple of bad experiences, but it wasn't enough to really to put me off. We decided on Sunday 4pm, uh, people were either working or gone home or were very, very quiet. Uh, so the nurse's home itself was like a, it was as if it was abandoned itself. Uh, and in my room, which was on the middle floor on the right, actually over the room in the most haunted where they, f where they heard that presence, which was actually in the snooker room, I lived above that area. So that's quite a significant area there of the nurse's home. Um, we set the Ouija board up 
and we started to ask questions. And, you know, what questions do you ask? Well, we ask the obvious ones, don't we? Like, who's going to win the FA Cup? Um, will I be rich? Uh, will I get a girlfriend? That sort of thing. And answers come um, sporadically. Some just do not make sense whatsoever. But we asked the, the ultimate question. And looking back, it was possibly the wrong question to ask. The question was, prove you exist. The Ouija board spelt out W A T C H J O H N So I watched. I watched John. I watched his face. And his face changed. It changed, first of all, into a baby's face. It changed then into a middle-aged man's face. And eventually, it changed into the face of a wizened, decrepit old man. And then finally, it changed into a skull. It then changed back into John. John was not aware of what I had seen. Why would he be? Was it a physical change? Was it a spiritual change that I saw? Was it purely in my mind? I cannot answer that. I was getting a little bit older, possibly a little bit wiser, less reckless. Um, I was shaken to the core from that incident and I knew in here that it was time that I stopped trying to reach out, trying to get to the other side, to contact who or what. That was beyond the pale and it was time to dispose of our Ouija board. Um, <clears throat> how do you dispose of it? You can't just, well you can't sell it on eBay or chuck it away, well you can. Uh, but you've got to be very, very careful. Uh, and for any out there who have got a Ouija board and they want to get rid of it, uh, what you must do is you must, you must break it up into many, many pieces. Okay? Break it up into a lot of pieces. Take it away from your place of residence or your place of work or wherever into the middle of nowhere and burn it. Preferably, Burn the individual pieces in different places. A Ouija board is a portal. If you burn it in your own house, the essence of it remains, and therefore the portal remains. And I'm afraid you may not have got rid of it at all without having any future way of disposing of it. Anyway, thanks again for listening. Um, I think we'll get back to a proper, uh, different uh, ghost story. So ghost stories that people, you know, people come to me and say, have you heard such and such a rumour and they tell me their stories? Uh, usually associated with Denver, usually associated with North West Hospital. As you can imagine, it's full of history. It's full of um, strange things, strange happenings, strange people, strange occurrences. Anyway, thanks for listening and bye for now.